just in. All the gossip. 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 The Rumor Report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Well, last night, Stephen Colbert did his second election night special. Stephen Colbert's election night 2020, Democracy's Last Stand, Building Back America, Great Again, Better 2020. If y'all remember, he did this back in 2016. And Charlemagne, you had some things to say on the special. Listen to this. Black people have long been the soul of this country because we have to believe in the promise of equality and justice that America provides. Just like a belief in a higher power for black people, America's promise is something that is not visible, but we have faith in that promise. And that faith is a model for all Americans. So we will continue to shout and demand to be treated equally in this country, but we can't do it forever. And if America loses its soul, Lord have mercy, it's game over. The land will still exist, but the noble human experiment, that's a wrap. Yeah, that guy knows what he's talking about, man. I believe him. Now, will America lose its soul? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. We don't know. When do you think we'll get the when do you think we'll get these results? You think today we'll know? You might get them you might get them today, depending on what state swing, you know, whose way. Somebody gets a two seventy. Yeah, Michigan might get in the day. Um, I doubt Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania going to take a couple of days. Michigan, who else? Who's the other big one? North Carolina? Shout out know. to Wayne County. I'm hoping for Michigan to uh, swing my way just because I got I got residency there also. So Don't don't say that. Don't say swing my way like that because the Democrats will go make a commercial shorty today with my Shorty way. Swing My Way playing. Michigan, Michigan Swing My, my Way. way. <laughs> Who's saying that? John A., right? Look good Who's saying tonight? that? No, man. Now the Democrats will find those people. I can't remember the name. Way. The Democrats yeah, will find that group shorty. and make a commercial today. All right. And Carl Anthony Towns KP and Envy. has... Okay, Envy. I knew Drop that sounded like you. Off, Envy. I didn't know that was you. All right, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. You. All right. Carl Anthony Towns is talking about his mother's death from COVID-19. And the video is called The Toughest, Life, the Toughest Year of My Life. And he talked to now with Natalie host, uh, Natalie Manuel Lee. And here's what he said. Her sister's on the phone and she cut us off. She said, hey, I just want to let you guys know that she has passed away officially. She had took her last breath with laughter. And there was no other way. Jackie would have wanted it. She didn't want people to cry for her. She wanted people to laugh. That just hurts. It hurts so bad. I'm 24. I just started figuring my life out. I'm just happy I had the time I did. Because it, it, it made me who I am. My kids get to meet her through me. Because I am the most like her in many ways. Hey, man. Prayers up so for that, sad, brother. Man. I don't wish that kind of trauma on nobody. And listen, Natalie does great work. Uh, salute to Natalie. You can't teach what Natalie has. She got that warm, inviting spirit that just makes you feel comfortable enough to open up in that way. So salute to Natalie. I've been thinking of what I want my funeral to be like. And I want it to be like a celebration, too. Why are you thinking about that? Because I do. I try to plan for things. I try to plan for things. You go plan for that? How you go plan plan for your funeral? Listen, let me tell you, a great thing that you can do is make sure that it's paid for. I have friends who have family members who already have like everything. They done picked out all their stuff. So when it's time to plan that funeral, nobody has to really be worried about those things because that's a difficult thing when someone dies and you got to plan everything. And then there's financial issues and there's no money and they're trying to figure out how they'll pull it together. Yeah, mine is paid for, but I ain't planning it now. I'm just yeah, saying I, I like want mine to be like a celebration. Yeah, I don't like Art. funerals. I'm not going to mine if I can help it. <laughs> All right. So you want to no. be cremated. I'm just not going. And it is, But you know what's so funny? I hate when people say it's a financial inconvenience for funerals as if the person planned to die. <laughs> did it on purpose. You know what I mean? <laughs> he did it on purpose. Like, man, you know no, my I'm money just, messed up. You just going to die? No, I get it. But I'm just saying that's why it's, it is nice if you're alive now, if you guys have like insurance and make sure that that's taken care of. I did that just because I didn't want like, God forbid something happens, anybody to have to deal with that too. Sometimes it's hard to mm-hmm. imagine you don't have any money. You got to plan a funeral for somebody and now you're trying to get family members to give him money. Nobody wants to do it. People acting broke, you know. Damn, go fund right, these, boy. Right. Now, Mark Cuban has given an update on Delante West's recovery. And so that's nice. He said, uh, because we all want something to feel great about today. Here is your Delante West update. It's still an uphill battle, but he is climbing. And you can see he's, you know, kayaking and having a good time. It looks like he's doing much better. So that was after a viral photo of him out on the streets of Dallas uh, where he wasn't looking too good. And 
you know, Mark Cuban went out there, connected with him, and it looks like things are doing much better. So we'll continue to pray for him and his progress. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. 